Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived. Hallelujah. Uh, one more time. Let's get ready uh, to get it in. But I want to thank the Most High for everybody uh, chiming in on this morning. Pray that everyone is group, blessed of the Most High, encouraged. Hallelujah to see another day. Another day that we can obey and be led, hallelujah, by his Ruah. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm super, super duper, hallelujah, excited on this morning. Hallelujah. A little tired, I'll admit it. A little tired this morning, but uh, here it is. He this, hallelujah, in me. Hallelujah, the heat is in the world. Is that all right? Let's get ready to get started, uh, y'all. Oh, yeah, let's get ready. Let's get ready to get started. Here we go. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann on the early what I seek through scripture study and prayer line on his 23rd day in September 2020. Time is winding up, y'all. <clears throat> Time is winding up. Let's get ready to dive in the book, in the Sifa. Let's go to uh, Romans, uh, the 10th chapter. Um... And the uh, say the A first. Let's start the A one. Two and eight. <clears throat> Famous scripture. Let's 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 crack it open today. Good to see you on uh, Denise. Good to see you on uh, God and Deans. Hallelujah. Um. Raya, Raya. Happy birthday, young lady. Hallelujah. Elder, good to see you, sir. <clears throat> Romans 10 and 8. What saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thine heart. That is the word of faith um, which we preach. Matiyahu. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. No rocket science here. Everything the Most High created, He created by His Word, and He gave us the ability to speak words as well. Jeff Brown, good to see you on, sir. The Word is nigh thee. Right? We, we've, been, we've been speaking death our whole life. Born in sin, shaped in iniquity. The prince of the power of the air is giving us lust and negativity and, and, and fleshly worldliness. And we've been speaking it and living it. We've been doing it. The best array came along the gospel and let us know that uh, the wickedness that surrounds us is not how it's supposed to be. Those of us that belong to him kind of agreed with that in our spirit. Though we were doing our natural born thing, something was wrong. We had we had we had to change our words. We, we had to change of the cycle of the words that 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 governed our thinking. Yeah, you know, our thinking was filled with satanic words, evil words, evil desires, desires uh, that are words, they're thoughts. That are that our sinful soul agreed with, right? So look what this say. Romans 10, 10 and eight. This, this is this is the the changing of the guard right here. But what saith it? The word is nigh thee. Where's the word? Nigh here it is. 
even in thy mouth. He gave us the mechanism to be reconciled. We were born with it. Yeah. The mechanism, the ability to think words, which is spirit, to, to speak words. The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth, and in thy heart, which is a whole nother level. Because when we were raised, right, we, we would say things we didn't mean. Like, I'll pay you back next Tuesday. Yeah, loan it to me, I'll pay you back next Tuesday. We didn't mean that. Like, I love you. You didn't love them. Quit lying. But what says it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thine heart. Messed around and some came out of our mouth, but it first came from our heart. Out of the abundance of, of, of the heart, the mouth speaketh. When we, the word of eternal life is right here. And we didn't accept it in our hearts and now it came out of our mouth. The word of faith which we preach. The word of being reconciled with the most high. The word of I, I'm at the end of myself. I, I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna live lying, taking advantage of people. I, I don't I don't I don't wanna live lustful, I don't wanna live rude and mean. I, I'm cool with me. The word is nigh. I remember when the word came to me, I was a rascal. On dope and everything. Violent and everything. Just ridiculous. And the word came to me and I believed it. Yeah, the word was nigh me. And then it ended up in my mouth. It went from uh, the person that was introducing the best array to me, the gospel to me. Good to see you on Jackie. Good to see you on Beverly. But somebody else was speaking the word, and I heard it. Oh, it was a rap. It, 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 it ended up in my mouth and in my heart. The word of faith, which was preached, right? Night first, look what it said. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth that Yahushua is master, Adonai your life. This is the word. That, that 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 end up penetrating the believer's heart. Charvet, good to see you all. This is it. It don't get no better than this. You know what the word was? His death, burial, and resurrection. Even why he died, he died for me. He died for me because I was headed towards death. Yeah, I was yawless. I was doing me, living by uh, my, my five senses. I was doing me. And the word came and was nigh me. And I believed it to the point that it ended up in my mouth and in my heart. It's the word of faith which we preach. Now the scripture is breaking down what was preached. Right? That if I should confess with my mouth, That Yahushua, Yah became salvation. If I confess with my mouth that he is my salvation. Rhonda, good to see you all. That he's my salvation. He's my rescuer. It's ugly out here. But I've been rescued. What about you? Are you rescued? Or are you still a slave to your wicked nature? You still doing you? How many of y'all listening to me that still sleep with who you want to sleep with? Whether you're married to him or not, you're just doing you. The fact is you're not married to him. Is really what I'm talking about. How many of y'all just cuss, fly off the handle, do you? Right? Or 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 are you confessing with your mouth that the that the Mashiach is master of your life? Is your uh uh what they call Lord? Your Adonai. Your, your, your master, that if you shall confess with, with thy mouth that the Messiah is now in charge of your life, 
you yielded your life over to the most high. You were running your life. You were living in sin. And the wages of sin is death. You were doing you. But you say, I'm done. I'm done. Nunez, good to see you all. I'm done. I quit. Right? That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth that, 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 that the Messiah is master and shall believe in thine heart. Now your heart is involved, right? Didn't, didn't that what it say? The word is nigh thee and even in thy mouth and in thy heart. Didn't it say that? Because your heart got to be involved. That if thou shalt confess with your mouth, you, you make, you make Yahushua master of your life and shall believe in thy heart that Yah, the Most High, has raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. You, you understand that it was Yah's. This is Yah's doing. This is your creator's doing. This is the fulfillment of the scriptures happening. And you're a partaker of it because you believe. For Yah so loved the world, right? That he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. You're a believer. Most high ain't left us out here like this. He coming to get his children. As crazy as we've been, as scandalous as we've been, mankind is off the hook. And we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity, he still came down all those generations to be found fashioned as a man, be born of a virgin, be found fashioned as a man to rescue us. Well, I'm, the, I'm one of the ones he rescued. I'm one of the ones when the, when the gospel came, I admitted I was wrong. I'm sleeping around. I got a pistol. I fight you. I'll bite you. But the gospel came. Kenyon, good to see you on. The gospel came, the best array came, and I believed it. The word came nigh me. And because it came nigh me, there's some people that you might think is scandalous as heck, but watch when the gospel come. Their whole life changed. You wrote them off to be the seed of Satan, right? Well, when the gospel came, their whole life changed. There's some goody two shoes that you think is good. You think they're even better than other people? Gospel come, they reject it. Because they, cause they happy with their goody two shoesness. Now, all goody two shoes don't mean they can't be saved. But I'm just saying, you can't go by goody two shoes and nice people. We all need a death, burial, and resurrection because all have sinned and come short. We were all born in sin. We need, we need the, the best array. We need the gospel. We need the most high to rescue us, each and every last one of us. Yeah. So the ninth verse, that, thou, that, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth that the Messiah is master of my life, right? And shalt believe in thy, thy heart that Yah has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. That is the relationship with your mouth and your heart. You're going to confess the Mashiach because you got the revelation that, that his name means Yah is salvation. Who became our salvation? The Most High. Yeah. 1 Timothy 3 and 16. And without controversy, greatest the mystery of Yahliness, Yah was manifested in the flesh. This is Yah's doing. Isaiah 43 and 10 say, You are my witnesses. Is there, is, is there an Elohim he besides me? There isn't any. He said, I even I am the Savior. Besides me, there is none. He, he, it was Yah's doing. We not, we don't believe in no other Elohim. Ain't number one Elohim. Yahweh. <laughs> Sometimes pronounced Yahuwah. Yeah. Yah. Cut straight through the chase. And Yahusha, Yah is salvation. Or Yahshua in Arabic. Yah is salvation, y'all. Funk Drizzle, good to see you on, man. Joshua, good to see you on. Charles Phillips in there. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth 
gospel came. You said, you know what? I, I know I need to be saved. I need to be rescued from me. I don't need to be rescued from you. I need to be rescued from me. Obeying me, walking and living in sin. I'm done. That thou shalt confess with thy mouth. This ain't, this ain't the usual. We just talking, talking loud and saying nothing. This ain't the usual. This ain't, girl, I love you. When you get, when you cash at me right quick, cash at me with your pretty self. Cash at me. No, this is not the mouth bumping and it's not in the heart. No, this is in the heart. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth that Yahushua is, is master, right? Good to see you on, Alina. That thou, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth that Yahushua is master, right? And, and, and shall believe in thy heart that this is the most high's doing, that, that the most high is the one that did this and, and, and rose up from the dead. Yeah. The, the, the most high raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. This is the key. You're not, you're not believing in another Elohim. You believe in the only one. The Elohim of Israel, the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the only true creator. You're, you're turning back towards him. You're turning away from yourself and you're turning towards him. The best array came, the gospel came, and you're a believer. You no longer want to be a slave to your wickedness because the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. You know, you're not going to live. The, the word teaches plainly, right? He to seek to save his life is going to lose it. Look at Matthew Yahoo's uh, 16th chapter, right? Whoever seeks to save his life is going to lose it. You can do you, but it's not going to be cool. In fact, after a certain amount of time, if you belong to him, he's going to start whooping you. You want to go through hell and then end up in hell? Yeah. This, this earth is set up to go through hell because they this place done a lot of atrocities. There is some folks that hurt his children. He allowed them to hurt his children based on the sins of his children. Yeah. Leviticus 26, Deuteronomy 28. Yeah. His children turned on him. And, and they got the business. They're being done. They're being done wrong by Satan's children. And the Most High is coming to pay. And it's starting to unfold before our eyes right now. Yeah. But, but, but while that's happening, he's collecting his children. There are some people that understand they're in sin and they don't like it. And they don't want it. And they're willing to repent. There's a willingness necessary. There's a willingness necessary. It's tricky. To deal with religious people because they claim a relationship that they don't have and they have in their psyche, right, excuses for themselves, giving themselves elbow room to sin against him while claiming him. That's what religion does. Religion gives you the ability to claim him while you're still cussing, claim him while you're still sleeping around, claim him while you're still backbiting and two-faced and funny styling on drugs and you're drunk. But, but you're still on your way to heaven and you're so glad. That's religion. True relationship delivers you from sin. Because if any man be in the Messiah, he becomes a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Yeah. You got some folks that's not doing what they're supposed to do and they know it, but they won't cry out for help because they, they flesh is running their life. They're, they're captive. The, the word is able to bust that, 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 that captivity Busted into pieces. The, the word is able to set the captive free. It, it's the anointing that destroys the yoke. Well, the anointing is the word. In Torah, it says the anointing destroys the yoke. The same scripture in the New Testament is, uh, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Set you free. Release you from the bondage of your wicked nature. You ain't the only one to deal with lust. You ain't the only one to see everybody half naked, chiseled, chiseled bodies running around here, uh, uh, super tight clothes, pants, thin pants that look like skin. Ain't nothing but another layer of skin. You're naked. You're naked. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't the only one that got a battle of lust, got, got gadgets and, and iPads and phones and, and, and pornography pop up every five minutes. You trying to look at the, the Bible and on the side, lips and butts and, and cleavage. 
You ain't the only one that, that, that got to rebuke that stuff, but bless is the man that endureth temptation. The temptation comes, I'm not giving in to that because greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Folks, captive by their flesh because you're choosing to. You're not willing to do what it takes to be set free. He that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. Your flesh is going to be mad at you. Dixon, good to see you on. Your flesh is going to be mad at you. If you do what's right, you, your flesh should be mad at you because if your flesh ain't mad at you, you're obeying your flesh. You're obeying your evil nature and the wages of sin is death. Listen, y'all, back to the eighth verb. What saith it? The word is nigh thee. What did the word say? What saith it? The ninth verse is going to tell you. But the presenting question is, what is the word saying? The word is nigh thee. It's right here. What is it saying? Is it in your mouth? Is it in your heart? The word of faith which we preach? Then if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, if you give in to the word and your heart is involved, if you give in to the word to the point that you believe it and you allow it to come out of your mouth and you're willing to say, Yahushua, your master of my life, I surrender. I'm tired of doing things my way. Yeah, tired of, of satisfying my desire. It's all about me. What they say, living my best life. How can you and everything closed? Anyway, I'm living my best life, at least to the best of my ability up under the circumstances, right? With your mask on. But I'm, I'm living my best life, right? I'm doing me. Knowing that you doing you goes against the most high. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked way. We got to change, y'all. We got to turn. Well, this is the opportunity to turn. What saith it? The word is right here. And it should be in your mouth and in your heart. The word of faith, which we're preaching right now. The word is preaching and I'm reading it. That if thou should confess with thy mouth, say it. Call him master. Call him Adonai. Call him surrender. And when, and when you say it, you believe it in your heart that this is the most high rescuing you. You believe in your heart that Yah has raised him from the dead. Death couldn't keep him because he was obedient to the most high. Shall, shall, shall believe in our heart that Yah has raised him from the dead. Guess what's going to happen? You're rescued. You're saved. Life has been defeated for you. You win. As ugly as it is down here. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we won't fear no evil. Why? Because he's with us. His rod and his staff, they comfort us. He's with us. He's taking care of us. Come on, somebody. You're saved. I'm going to respond the way he want me to respond. I'm going to do what he want me to do. I'm not going to do what he don't want me to do. If he said don't do it, I ain't doing it. Come on, somebody. If he said if he, if he he said don't do it, I ain't pursuing it. I ain't doing it. Yeah. Right? Tenth verse says, for with the heart, man believeth on the righteousness. Do you know why your heart got to be in it? Because we do what's in our heart, don't we? You chasing somebody because it's in your heart. You you they they able to get your little money. You 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 pop open your purse for them. Yeah 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 yeah. Because it's in your heart. If your heart ain't in your purse ain't closed. Your wallet, homie. You ain't opening your wallet. You ain't you ain't wasting your time on nobody if your heart ain't in it. Yeah yeah yeah. You trying to win. You trying to win. you don't love them. But when your heart is in it, you in it, right? That's why he said confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. Well, you got to mean what's coming out of your mouth because what's coming out of your mouth got to come from your heart when you're dealing with the most high. You ain't going to run no game on him. You're running the game on yourself. You know, those that what they call so-called play church, they running the game on themselves. They're going to bust hell wide open. They the type that you go to the funeral and the preacher preach him into heaven anyway, but they didn't go. And if he keep lying, he ain't going either. Lying and preached him in heaven. They didn't go to heaven. Live like the devil. Because they had a little church suit, had, had a little little wig and, and, and little, little, little church clothes, praise dancer. That You ain't going to heaven if you ain't living it. For with the heart, man believeth on the righteousness. Your heart got to be involved. 
But with the heart, I'm serious. I ain't, man, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be a hypocrite. Play to be say, preach to y'all, get off here and go uh, 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 cheat on my wife, beat on my wife. I'm an undercover a, a cigarette smoking crackhead. Not here. <laughs> not here. <laughs> I did smoke crack at one point in my life, Joe did. <laughs> yeah, I was a player at one point in my life. Yeah, and I'd whoop your dog on behind at one point in my life. Not no more. Uh-uh. If any man being a Messiah become new, what was you doing? Don't look at me crazy. Like I'm sick and off the, uh, off the hook because I snitched on myself. What was you doing? And are you still doing it? You don't want to be one of them church, church, them fake church folks. Are you one of them? Another hypocrite? Oh, thank you, Jesus, with your scandalous self. Or are you obeying him? Because when the best array come, the true gospel come, what saith it? A first said, what, what is the word saying? Because it's right here. It's nigh thee. It's right here. And it should be in your mouth. Is it in your mouth? And in your heart, the word of faith which we preach. Well, this is what we're preaching. That if you confess it, say it. That if you confess with your mouth, then Yahushua is master of your life. And shall believe in your heart that Yah has raised him from the dead. That, 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 that death couldn't keep him because he never sinned. He was that sacrifice without spot, wrinkle, or blemish, or any such thing. That perfect sacrifice. And you believed it, now you're saved. For with the heart, because your heart is involved, man believes on the righteousness. Because your heart is involved, you're living it. You're not just talking. Nicole, good to see you all. Tyrone Terry, hallelujah, good to see you. For, for with the heart... Man believeth on the righteousness. When your heart get involved. Have you seen somebody serve the most heart high, but their heart ain't in it? Oh, yeah, yeah. They're going to fire up a cigarette while y'all while you quoting scriptures. They're going to cuss, too. Mm -hmm. Might be looking at your body while, while you're trying to pray with them. Because their heart ain't in it. Their heart ain't in it. Get rude. Spirits floating around. They looking all goo-eyed and crazy. Spirits got them. Yeah, man. Yeah. For with the heart. Yeah. For with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness. Anyone that really belonged to him, their heart is involved and their life change. They were living unrighteously, now they start living righteously. Good to see you on James, Mr. Harris. For with the heart. Can't be saved without the heart being involved, y'all. If your heart ain't involved, you just talking. Got emotional. Got 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 goosebumps for a second and got to run in your mouth about how much you love him, how much you're going to ban him. But your heart really ain't in it. The next day, you back. You back looking at porno. You back cussing. You back drunk again. You back high. Back doing you. You back with the testimony. Ain't nobody perfect. I'm, uh, we all human. What, you ain't sinning? Yeah, you back. You back with that mess again. Because your heart wasn't in it. Couldn't break you up with that woman. Couldn't get her out your little wallet. Could, 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 couldn't get you to break up with that, with that man that was whooping your behind and, 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 and going to bed with all your friends. Yeah, you got mad who told you they seen him. Your best friend came to you and said, oh, I seen your man with your cousin. Then you fell out with your best friend for telling you. They trying to be your best friend and let you know you've you been played a fool. You got mad at them and turned on them because your heart was with this pimp. Your heart was with this player. Your heart was with this little thought. Ah, I'm going to tell you the truth whether you like it or not. Did you chime in when well, I'm going to preach the truth? Did you chime in? Well, well, well fasten your seatbelt. We're going to get saved today. Come on, somebody. Because your heart is it. When your heart is in it, you in it. When your heart is in it, you in it to win it. You in it. You in it. A person couldn't pry you out of it with a crowbar. Well, there's some folks that feel that way about the most high. Because that's who this scripture is talking to. But what saith it? What is the word saying to his children? You can't pry them off the most high. You can't call, you can't make them go back. You can't make them turn on him. Got some folks that love him to death. We'll die first before we give him up. I ain't selling him out for no man, for no woman. I ain't selling him out for no money. I ain't selling him out for nothing to nobody. My mama, my daddy, my 
Come on, somebody. My spouse, my children, nobody. <laughs> I'm not selling. I'm not walking away from him. Like it or not. Then you don't like me because I'm with him. Then you just don't like me. <laughs> I'm not giving him up for you. <laughs> you ain't going. We've assembled. You can't go. I'm going. <laughs> well, well, that's going to cause problems. Then it's a problem then. <laughs> what says that the word is nigh thee? It's in my mouth. It didn't mess around and got in my heart. The word of faith, which was preached. <laughs> And what was preached? That if thou should confess with thy mouth, well, I'm, I'm not playing when I when I made him master. He's he he's Yah is my salvation. When he was robed in the body, he lived a perfect example for me, died on that tree for me. I'm not turning on him. And I believe in my heart that Yah raised him from the dead, I'm saved, right? For with the heart, I'm finna get out of here, y'all. I'm out of time. For with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness. When your heart is involved and with the mouth, I said it, life and death is in the power of the tongue. I said it and I meant it and I'm here to represent it. With the mouth, confession is made on the salvation. Woo! <laughs> I said it. Did you say it? I said it. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Say it. Call him master. Call, call, call him master of your life right now. Receive him right now. And switch from religion to relationship. I dare you to give up. You, 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 if, you're, if you were raised in church, but you're still sleeping around, you're still drunk, you're still high, you're still cussing, waiting for uh, the strip club to open back up as soon as... You know, they said uh, Alameda County just turned to red, which means they can open up some stuff. You ready to get back on the pole? Repent, say it. Confess him, master. He'll, he'll rescue you from you. We we all need to be rescued from ourselves. That's what the gospel come. We're responsible for our own souls. The gospel come to rescue you from you. All you got to do is mean business. Confess with your mouth. Make him master. And believe in your heart, your heart's got to be involved. That's why the 10th verse broke down the necessity of you being, your heart being involved. Because with the heart, one believeth on the righteousness. When your heart is involved, you'll start obeying him. And if you obey him, you're going to live righteously. You're going to be walking in the Ruah, the Ruah HaKadosh. You're going to be walking in the spirit. For with the heart, man believeth on the righteousness. And with the mouth, I said it. Confession is made on the salvation. I said it and I meant it. And I'm here to represent it. Whew. I'm saved. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you, gleaming in your word for a spiritual snack this morning, a snack uh, with enough nutrients, spiritual nutrients in it to save the entire world. <laughs> Ah, uh, we said it. We saying it now. We said it. We saying it. Hallelujah. Uh, touch your children. Those of you that said it, uh, type it in the message. I said it. I said it. I said it. Write it. I said it. Because if you said it and you meant it, come on, somebody. Uh, save your children even right now. Uh, let the confession of, of, of their mouth come from their heart uh, that they might be saved. I speak. I, I speak salvation. The word is nigh, and even in our mouth and in our heart, uh, which which we're preaching, uh, that, that 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 we made you master of our lives. We accept what you did. You died on that tree for our sins, rose again with our power. Then you came back to baptize yourself inside of us, inside of us, the leading guidance and all truth. We said it, and we believed it, and we meant it, and now we're saved, and we thank you. In the master's name, Yahushua, we come to pray. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, and all. The lesson, y'all. I pray it was a blessing. Because that was the lesson um for 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 this for this morning. 923-2020. Um, if you were blessed by the lesson, feel free um to push the share button. I, I pray you said it and you're saved as you push the share button. Um, if you said it, hallelujah, and you meant it, feel free to push the like button as well. If you share it, somebody else can hear the lesson and, and do exactly the same thing. Switch from religion to relationship or switch from or, or sin into a real relationship with, 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 our, with our creator. <laughs>
Is that all right? <clears throat> Listen, if you're a supporter of this ministry, you find out to support this ministry, I say thank you. I'm humble that you that you, you you're being blessed by this ministry to the point that you're a supporter of it. We all here, me personally, I'm on um, eight times a week. Yes, because we mean it. We we preach it all the time. And he said, I'm not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another. And so much the more as we see the day approaching, the day is approaching fast. So we're preaching more and more. Um, as a ministry, I think we do like um, 17 services a week. Mm -hmm. I'm responsible for, for eight of them. Everybody else can buy and they do nine. And a couple more people take up the other services, right? I just want to let you know that because we're serious about ministry. We also feed, you know, I'm getting food from restaurants and everything and groceries and we just feed. We do a lot because we love the people we love the most high. So I just want to let you know, whoever supports this ministry, I say thank you and we put it we put it to good use. We out here, we out here working. If you'd like to become a supporter of this ministry, it's my job to tell you how. You got the cash app? Just put in dollar sign Yahuda Israel. That's dollar sign Y A H U D A H Y I S R A E L. Support the ministry. Some of y'all might even be beneficiaries of when I get money because I share it. I feed people and share, I help pe people pay their bills and everything. I'll buy you stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I do stuff like that. Just did it recently. So. If you want to support the ministry, support me and supporting his children, please do. Because, cause, yeah, I'm not, I don't preach for filthy lucre. And it's hard to find somebody uh, that give as much as I do. And that's just the truth. <clears throat> not toot my horn. You need to know it if the Most High is leading you to be a supporter of this ministry. You got the cash app, put in dollar sign, Yahuda Israel, Y-A-H-U-D-A-H-Y-I-S-R-A-E-L. If you want to support the ministry, you also can go through Facebook. In my page, go to Messenger, and there's a giving button inside of there. We're going to get on the line, y'all. After the lesson, we have commentary. Anyone want to talk about the lesson, feel free. All you got to do is dial 302-202-1102, extension 815648. 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Y'all can chime on, give commentary, pray with us. Uh, we had a ball. What's the day? Wednesday? I come back home tonight, y'all permit. We'll be back on for prayer at noon. At the same number I just said, and then I'll be back on tonight at 7 p.m. And I'm going to pick up this series that I've been doing about who is the Gentiles. i got, I got, I got to hit it some more. We're, we're cracking it open, so we plan to get back at it um, tonight. Um, Y'all pray for me as I pray for you. Y'all be Baruch and Rafa Shalom. I'm gone.